Hello and welcome to lesson 32 in our free code camps HTML and CSS section. This challenge is create a set of radio buttons and it tells us you can use radio buttons for questions where you want the user to only give you one answer. Radio buttons are a type of input. Each of your radio buttons should be nested within its own label element. All related radio buttons should have the same name attribute. Here's an example of a radio button. We have label and inside our label we put our input of type radio name indoor outdoor. <clears throat> and it tells us add a pair of radio buttons to your form. One should have the option of indoor and the other should have the option of outdoor. So your page should have two radio buttons. Give your radio buttons the name attribute of indoor outdoor. Each of your two radio button elements should be nested in its own label element. Make sure each of your label elements has a closing tag. One of your radio buttons should have the label indoor. One of your radio buttons should have the label outdoor. So if we come down here. I'm not sure if they want us to delete this form. It doesn't really say anything about it. So add a pair of radio buttons to your form. I'll just do it under under this one. I'll create one form and end it. And then we'll create another form and end it. So we have two forms. And inside of our forms, they want us to put a radio button, which input of type radio. So it's an input tag with type equal to radio. With a name equal to, I think they said one indoor, one outdoor. Let's try it this way. So we could say indoor view and then close our input. Forgot our input is self closing. So so they just need to be inside of their own form. So the other one we'll put in here. I'm guessing we could copy this and just add it inside the second form. Okay, one should be outdoor. Let me move my screen here, see what we have. So we have one button and two buttons. I'm um, putting form, it should be a label, not a form. So, it's label, label, and then this one should be label, and then this one label. Did I change anything? Kind of looks the same. So your page should have two radio button elements, two radio button elements, which would be here, I'm guessing. Give your radio button the name attribute of indoor outdoor. Okay, so indoor outdoor is indoor outdoor. Then here, indoor, outdoor. So each of your two radio button elements should be nested in its own label element, which it is. Make sure each of your label elements has a closing tag, which they do. One of your radio buttons should have the label indoor. 
So I'm not sure if that means, I don't know, indoor, maybe outdoor. So let's see if that's what they're asking. And we're good. So just in case uh, you guys were wondering what a radio button is, it just pretty much allows for one click at a time, one selection. See, it doesn't leave both of them selected, whereas if we had just a regular input button, we might be able to click multiple ones at a time, whereas radio button allows us to choose one or the other. So that's that.